When buying a house subject to, do you always have to put money down? Gosh, I hope not. I try my best not to put anything down on a house, but there's so many different scenarios that you can run into. For example, if I'm talking to somebody that's in foreclosure and they're $20,000 behind uh, on their payments, well, am I going to have to put come up with that $20,000? Probably not. And for me, that's because I'm going to sell this house with seller financing. So uh, if the house is worth three hundred dollars and they're $20,000 behind and they're willing to walk away and the house is in good shape, I'm going to put that $20,000 toward the arrears. I might pay a little bit to get the yard cleaned up or the carpets cleaned. So let's say I've got twenty two dollars or twenty three dollars in it. And I'm going to sell it for about three twenty, dollars and be looking for around $30,000 down from somebody. And I'm going to take that $30,000 down. I'm going to pay that twenty dollars to the bank. I'm going to pay that other couple of thousand to the, the tidying up of the house. And I'm going to put $8,000 in my pocket. So is that a no money down deal for me? You bet. Um, let's just say the scenario is different. They're not behind on their payments, but they want $10,000 to walk away. Okay, same scenario. I'm going to give the seller $10,000, but I'm going to collect thirty dollars down from my buyer. So in that case, even though I gave the seller money, it wasn't mine. Now, it may have been mine for 10 minutes, but I'm going to get that money back very quickly. Uh, with seller financing, it may be a different story. Now, what's our line to sellers that, that are open to seller financing? And they say, well, what are you going to put down? You know, well, I'm going to say, well, we don't usually put anything down. <laughs> okay. Uh, am I willing to? Sure. Again, it's the same scenario. My next line may be, well, I can't do that without something down. And I might say, well, okay, how, how about this? If, if we bought this house with FHA financing, we'd have to put three and a half percent down. Um, this is a $200,000 house. That's about $7,000. Can we, can we do it with $7,000? And if they say, yeah, okay, that's great. I'm going to give them seven and I'm going to collect 20 from somebody else. Again, it's a no money down scenario. So if I intended to use it as a rental or live in it, then it'd be a little bit different story. I would have some money in the house. Uh, so you just have to look at it. You know, what's your exit strategy? What's your plan? Uh, even if I had to put 7,000 down on that house and it rented for 1,800, I would at least collect a first month's rent and a security deposit of $3,600. So what have I still got in the house? $3,400. And I'll get that back in the first two months payment. So, um, you know, it just depends on what you want to do. Is it worth getting, you know, paying a little bit down on something like that? Well, it depends on, I guess, your financial situation at the time. But, um, but for us, most of the time, we're not putting anything down, or at least we're getting it all back. Uh, within a very short period of time.